Alright people, uh, Catfish Dave here. Uh, <clears throat> I went into Bass Pro Shops and uh, I wanted a big bobber, big slit bobber. That's the best I could do. So uh, that just wasn't going to do it for me. So basically what I did <clears throat> is I went to Walmart, I bought some pool noodle. I bought me some of this uh, big gap filler spray foam and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down in the hole, it's got a thin hole already, and I'm going to fill it up with foam. There may be better ways to make a float, but this will work, and when it dries, I'm going to catch catfish on it. Alright people, uh, I give it a couple hours to dry, now I'm going to start trimming it, trimming the excess crap off here. This don't have to be pretty, it's just a float. Alright people, there it is. Um, basically what I do is, uh, this is a slip float, I can reel it all the way up so I can cast it out. But I don't use a, um, what do you call those things that you tie on your line, a stop knot. I don't use those because I'm throwing heavy stuff. Everything here is heavy. The bait's big. And I want the buoyancy of this float to actually set the hook. And those slip, those uh, stop knots, they slip up and down on you after they get loose. So uh, basically what I do is I know how deep I want to be fishing uh, at any particular spot I'm going. So on this rig, I've got 40 pound main line. And what I've done is however deep I want to fish, I measure out a bigger, heavier, like a shock line, and I tie that to my main line, and my knot is going to be the actual stop. It's going to be a dead stop. It's never going to move. I know how deep I'm fishing anyway, and I'm not going to be adjusting it probably that night because I won't be at that one spot. So uh, that's, that's my stop. So this one here, I've got it about eight foot of shock on it. And so this bait's going to be about eight foot deep. I'm going to throw it out, oh, about where I'm going to be going with it, about 20, 30 foot. And it's going to drift back to the drop off where it goes from shallow to deep. So uh, this is one is a Daiwa Saltist, 35 size on an Akuma. Battle Cat. Uh, 40 pound Sunline Mainline, and I've got 80 pound Andy Monster Blue. My homemade float, I can catch a 16, 20 inch Red Horse Sucker, and I can run him on this, and he will not be able to pull that under, and he will swim all over that cove. So, uh, I'm gonna plan on getting a good fish on this thing. Let y'all see how it goes, but. Uh, this is basically how I took a small float, made a big float out of it, right here at home without having to order anything online. Uh, basically just going to Walmart. 
So, anyway, let's see what we can get on it. The Catfish Dave Slip Bobber from hell! <laughs> that was a live gizzard shed on there. Uh, it's the only one I could come up with because the dude was in my spot I wanted to throw. Uh, what did that take? About 30 seconds to get that flathead? Ain't a big one, but uh. This is the homemade slip bobber I made. Uh, so, anyway, that's a great way to start a slip bobber video. Mm -hmm. It works. Guess I'll go get another live bait. So I got off work and but I, where I messed up was trying to go get some skipjack and they weren't hitting. I should have just went and got some big gills and some. I wanted to get some big gizzard sheds, what I want, but so far on the live gizzard shed, I, I've done real good the last two trips. They didn't sit in the water long at all. So that's telling me something over these bluegills. You know. All right, come on. But that's all we got, bluegills. So let's get her done.
blue cat on the slit loop. This is the wild wolf cat bobber here. Same thing I got, only smaller. One more uh, bluegill after this one, and I'm out of bait. Like I say, dude was in my spot. And I went to go throw my net, and then I went to another spot and said, I went to throw, here come the boats. I, I said, well, I got a few live baits, I'll go with that. I think something's on my float again. The catfish day, flip all the tail, and we've got something on there. Let's see what it is. Flatheads tonight on the Catfish Dave Slip Bobber from Hell. <laughs> All right, people, I've got one more live bait up in the truck, and after that, I'm out. Ah, oh, he's he sighted us twice once through the upper and then once through the day. Get my last live bait. You gotta be kidding me. I'm up there trying to chase that bluegill around a 26 gallon tank in the dark. And I done missed what might have been a good fish. That could have been a big flathead for all I know. I done missed him now trying to chase a bluegill around a 26 gallon tank. So I believe I'm gonna go pull the plug on him. And when that water goes dry, I'll get him.
man, it took me 15 minutes to catch that bluegill. Done missed a fish. That could have been my big flathead. Well, this is the last live bait. It's not a very big one. That's all I got. Hope he stays on. He's, these little bitty ones come off easy. Got my jacket all wet trying to chase that stinking bluegill. I need me a flashlight and a net to catch them things. That one floats wanting to drift over this way. I think part of it's the bluegill swimming, but no sense in them being close together. So I think I'm gonna actually throw it down this way just to be out of the way. That fish. Huh. That fish would not open up his mouth and let me get that hook out. But we finally got something on the cut bait anyway. All right, people, years ago, they had a wild wolf cat bobber, and that's what this is. Well, they went out of business, and I was down to one left, and I liked having a slip float that was very buoyant. Uh, I could reel it all the way up and cast it out. They didn't have anything like that till this. Well, since they don't have them no more, uh, I was wanting a replacement, so there you have it. Uh, the Catfish Dave slip float from hell. Um, I might find different ways to make these things. This is my very first one I made. 
and you know it got the job done I just can't wait to get a big enough fish to actually pull this thing under it'll happen just got to keep throwing them baits but uh, anyway this is catfish day with another video and I'll see y'all next time the catfish Dave slip bobber from hell <laughs> That's two flatheads tonight on the Catfish Dave Slip Bobber from hell! <laughs>